good morning everyone um, today i have uh, i am going to show you about uh, alibaba cloud which is a um, cloud service from alibaba.com so we have i have shown you uh, how to set up uh, a web server in uh, aws gcp azure today i'm going to show you how you can do that in alibaba cloud so uh, i have created a new account in Alibaba cloud. Then I have um, signed up with my credit card or debit card. Then I have uh, um, the free products area. So here is the free areas, free trial. If I click here, then I see uh, individual and then I see as a 26 free products. One of them is the Elastic Compute Service ECS. Then I choose this one. It has a 12 months free trial. So Let's try now. Then uh, data region, where do you want to set up this? Singapore, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Indonesia, India, US, Netherlands. I am going to do that in uh, Singapore. This is nearest to me. One core vCPU, one gigabytes of RAM, disk space 40. SSD, that's fine, data traffic. Operating system, Alibaba Cloud Linux 2, I don't know. Uh, what is Alibaba Cloud Linux? I really don't know, but let's, uh, Ubuntu. Do we have any other Ubuntu versions? No, let's try Ubuntu. I don't know about Alibaba Cloud. But let's try with Ubuntu. Try now. Uh, oh, your question failed. Please try again or change your configuration. Let's take China, Hong Kong, Alibaba, let's say take CentOS, no, Ubuntu or CentOS, what is Alibaba Cloud Linux 2, let's try, okay, let me, where can I go to, um, okay, that's right. Okay, so what happened is that uh, my order was successful, but it was showing an error. Maybe I'm the first one who's using Alibaba Cloud, but I don't know. Um, I am in my account and in my resources area, I see this is the instance. Okay, that's fine. Let's connect to that instance. Um, connect okay, let me set a password here just a pause for a moment okay so uh, I did some checking in the background it seems that I need to set a password for the instance so how I do this, I click the instance. Then in the details, I have an option to reset password. If you click this, you will, you will be uh, given a pop-up where you can put your passwords. I have put my passwords. Now I'm going to connect to that instance. So now trying to connect. 
so uh, let's try to connect here okay again i need to um, mm, or i think i can copy the ip address as well ip 50. so it is root ip let's see Oh, okay, it's access my password. Okay, let me give the password just a moment. Okay, I've copied the password, paste it. That's it. So I have now connected to Alibaba Cloud. Good job. Um, let's see. Okay. It's doing the access. That's good. Clear. Now I'm going to uh, install Apache. Apache 2. What? This is weird. Okay. So, so oops, sorry. Um, Apache to restart. Uh, oh, sorry. Did you get service? Okay, so if that is works fine, if I click this IP, I should be able to see an Apache page. Let's see. No, something is wrong. What is wrong? Let's go to uh, security rules. Internal inbound rules. Okay. Port 22 is open, that's fine, but I need to add port 80, right? That's true. That's the port that I need internal uh, security groups. Let's go to the security groups. Add a rule, allow. Um, They don't have any formatted, so let's customize destination. Yes, there it is. Oh, both source anywhere. That means uh, HTTP and S. Now let's try yes so they have a security group that's uh, open port 22 to everyone but not port 80 that's good. good good to know let's go back to that instance and uh, what we are going to do is to install uh, what we have it's apache 2 right okay now let's go to my website and search with Ubuntu. Let's see what we have here. Oh, here we have, how can we install MySQL? Let's try. I think we have done this already. Let's try again. <coughs> okay, it's running, updating, that's fine. Okay, then I will do MySQL server. Here it is. Yes. MySQL 5.7, 5.7, 5.8, 5.9, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5.18, 5.19, 5.20, 5.21, 5.22, 5.23, 5.24, 
it's good okay then I'm going to run this part clear the screen Validate password plugin, no. New password, let me set a new password. Okay, remove anonymous users, yeah. Normally root allowed only be connect from localhost, that's true. Yes, remove test database, reload privilege, yes. So that's it. We have done that part. Now, I just need to know my SQL. Uh... Oh, invalid syntax. Uh, I have, I think it's two commands. I just need to keep it in two time. And this one. Okay. So that's, we have to start the MySQL server. Uh, we have to enable it so that if you restart, it works fine. That's fine. Okay, then uh, what I'm going to do is uh, go back to the search page. Let's see here. Is there anything? Okay. Oh, this is actually let's encrypt. What about PHP? Can I install PHP here? Okay, let's try. Oh, I think uh, this is for Ubuntu 20, but here it's Ubuntu 18. I'm going to then Google it, uh, install PHP 7.4 on Ubuntu 18. <coughs> no, not in 20, we want to do it 80. Here it is. Um, Oh, so I think I did miss anything here. Okay, something is wrong. Then I think I can copy this part here as well. After that, I can run this command to install page 8. I guess so. Let's try. Aha, uh -huh. so PHP 8 is installing.
Okay, let's clear the screen. So we have installed PHP 8.0. I'm going to restart the Apache. Okay, so I'm going to test the PHP version. So to do PI HTML. Let me just remove this file. Oh, what about industrial PHP? This is the file. So uh, mm, mm, let me refresh. What happened? Again, error connection timed out. Do I need to allow Apache 2 as well? I think I just disabled this part in W. So UWF we have enabled disable disable the file like we have disabled it. That's fine, but then we should be able to yeah. Okay. So this was the issue with the UWF firewall. <coughs> the firewall is disabled, then we can work with the PHP index file. So now we are going to uh, link a domain here, right? That's what we want. Let's go to Outlayer. So just create a subdomain. So Alibaba, and this is the IP address, right? Save. So we have. Sorry, Alibaba. Aha, uh -huh. so we can do this. Let's just remove the HTML file. Okay. Now we are going, we have uh, done this part. So domain is pointing. Okay, I just need to create a virtual host here. So let's go. 
virtual host here it is virtual host etc uh, Okay, there is already virtual host available, so I'm just going to edit that. Is the server name? Yes, not required document root we have that okay directory So <clears throat> now uh, we can try to go for let's encrypt, right? Okay, let's try for let's encrypt. Okay, here it is. Okay, we are going to install start port first. Okay, installation going well. Let's try to issue a certificate. Yes, I'm going to issue a certificate for this domain. So I want to redirect. Okay. Let's refresh. We should have a um, we should have an SSL certificate here. Yes, here it is. We have an SSL certificate. That's valid. Okay, now we are going to install WordPress. What we want. WordPress.org slash latest state of zip. ls uh, unzip latest um, apt get install okay 
unzip okay So we have a directory WordPress and HTML. What we have to do is remove HTML directory and rename WordPress to HTML. I'm going to change the ownership to Apache. Oh, invalid user Apache. Okay. Um, then what is the users here? So this H minus R WWW data HTML. Aha, uh -huh. okay. It is WW data. That's that's the one. Okay. So oh I need to install my SQL extension. I just installed PHP 8, but I need to install other extensions as well. Okay. Um, no, I see the way. SQL installed. Let's try. Aha, uh -huh. so continue. Local host. Okay, I'm going to install my SQL minus U root. Okay, so here we are going to create a database. Create schema press Okay, WordPress username is uh, root password. Let's try. Uh, show databases WordPress. Let's try again. Root password is test. Database local host submit. Strange. <coughs>
let's change it to WP. Localhost. Okay, let's create a new user. Okay, so what I did is I created a new user and then it worked fine. So probably root login was disabled. Okay, that's clear. So run the installation. Alibaba, Alibaba Cloud. We have a password, um, email. And we have successfully installed WordPress. That's the beauty. Okay, so we have done the installation and now next rest, you can do anything you want. So that's it. Uh, I was a bit struggling with working with Alibaba Cloud. This was not any, uh, I didn't have any previous experience with Alibaba Cloud. So I, I hope you will understand the jumbles, the issues, the problems, the struggles I'm facing here. I hope you will uh, try to use Alibaba Cloud in your next uh, cloud journey. And stay tuned, subscribe to my channel to get new uh, videos. Thank you, have a nice day, bye bye.